Hey everybody, what's up? Lex here, and uh, welcome to my first Madden NFL 17 video. We're going to be talking about the commentary changes in Madden 17, which was a big announcement this morning, as well as the presentation blog that was released. Uh, but before we do that, I want to direct you over to my Madden NFL 16 review. Uh, I gave it two and a half stars out of five, and I kind of felt like uh, it was a very fun game to play. Uh, but there wasn't much meat on the bone for me as far as franchise mode. I felt franchise mode is uh, in desperate need of an overhaul, and it sounds like we're going to get it this year with Madden 17, and I will be covering all the franchise uh, mode news when that comes out. Uh, but for right now, we've got presentations, so take a look at the Madden 16 review if you haven't already. So this is the big announcement this morning that was teased late last night. We have a new commentary team in Madden NFL 17, and it's this man, Brandon Godden, and this man, Charles Davis. Now, I'm not familiar with Brandon Godden, really, so I can't really speak much on him. Um, I have heard him do commentary uh, for Madden 17 in the presentation video that was released by EA just a while ago, um, and he sounds fine. Uh, he sounds kind of like your basic... Uh, play by play guy these days. Charles Davis, though, is someone that I really like. I'm a huge fan of the NFL draft, and Charles Davis does a great job covering that. I've heard him in many podcasts. Uh, I've heard him do commentary on, on real life games before, and I am a big fan of him. I like his personality, and uh, I, I think he has a ton of football knowledge. So, to me, that is a great hire. I was kind of hoping that Mike Mayock would be in. Uh, but Charles Davis is a, a, a really good second uh, pick for me. So with this commentary change, even though I am excited for it because of Charles Davis, I, I, I really didn't dislike Nance and Sims. Um, I know a lot of people did, uh, but to me they were fine. The problem with commentary, though, is repetitiveness. Uh, are we going to really see that change and, and that's a difficult proposition for any any game at all any any football game any sports game to to mix up the commentary to the point where you don't hear it over and over and over again because we're going to be playing hundreds of games of Madden NFL 17 hypothetically so can they fix that repetitiveness that doesn't really that doesn't necessarily mean uh you know Charles and and, and Brandon are going to do a terrible job um, they could do a fantastic job, but can they mix it up? Can they get that banter down as well? Uh, they, they talked about in, in interviews on the Press Road podcast and Polygon about how, uh, you know, Von Miller has the chickens. Are we going to hear that every single time we play the Broncos? Are You know, Broncos fans, if you're running a franchise, are you going to hear that every single time you play a game? That's the problem. That's the issue. And hopefully they, they corrected it. Now, they announced something else that's pretty big with commentary. They're actually going to be updating it uh, pretty much every week so that whatever happens in the real NFL, if a, a player starts to get hot and make a name for himself, are you talking about Hearns, uh, wide receiver for Jacksonville? You know, he was a guy that nobody had on their radar, and then he gets hot and becomes this big name receiver. Um, are they going to, you know, before they can't really go in and add that commentary now they say they can um, of course this kind of comes with some reservation because if I'm playing a franchise mode I don't necessarily want that in my franchise mode if if Alan Hearns is a guy who starts out and you know he's he's not doing well in my franchise mode so he stays you know under the radar I don't want them talking about Alan Hearns who you know is just you know had this explosive season and he hasn't in my franchise mode so I kind of see that as a concern Hopefully it won't carry over to that necessarily. But this obviously enriches modes like Ultimate Team, Online Play, or Play Now. Uh, and, and it kind of makes me want to go into those modes if it's not going to be in Franchise Mode and hear those new lines that are added. So that's actually a pretty smart idea to kind of get people to play other modes too. Um, obviously I'm probably in the minority about that, uh, actually going into new modes just to hear the new commentary. I don't know, maybe I'm not, but I kind of feel like I am. Uh, but that's the big commentary change. My initial thought is Charles Davis is the man, uh, and I can't wait to hear him in Madden. Uh, Brandon Godden, hope, it, it sounds like from what the game changers are saying uh, that this really is a pretty spectacular team, and uh, what they've done, you know, syncing all these things up is pretty spectacular as well. So um, I'm optimistic for this new commentary change. 
Alright, so now we're going to be taking a look at the presentation blog that EA released. And uh, really quick, we're just going to go mainly through the pictures and I'm going to tell you about what the little uh, blurbs say. Uh, so this first picture here, we see uh, the Vikings' new stadium, uh, which looks gorgeous. They did a great job of it. I'm going to miss playing outside with the Vikings. Uh, I love football outside. I love the weather effects in there. Uh, but they did a, a great job. The stadium looks gorgeous and uh, the lighting looks uh, interesting, that's for sure. So moving on to this next one, this is probably my least favorite picture that they've put in here. Um, it kind of shows the Texans defensive line and the key players and those. So my qualms with this this picture are that I don't understand, is this something where the players are actually there on the field and they're posing for this? Or is it kind of like on broadcasts where um, it's green screen players and they're like superimposing them onto the, the this backdrop that they're shooting. Um, if it's the the latter, I'm okay with it. I think that's kind of cool. If it's the players actually on the field posing for this shot, uh, that's that's something I don't really care for. Maybe we can get some clarification from that. Someone that's played the game, the game changers, maybe they can comment on that. That would be nice. Um, I, either way, I'm not going to beat it up too much, but. You know, it could go either way for me. Next up, we have the new pylon cam, which this is really cool. And I'm going to tell you exactly why this is really cool, uh, other than it's an up-close shot of the players. What makes this so cool is that in, in Madden and sports games in general, you have these on-the-field shots where a cameraman wouldn't normally be, and it makes it less immersive because it's like, okay, yeah, I'm playing a video game. But this pylon cam gives you an up-close shot at these sort of situations where it's at the goal line or on the sidelines or whatever it may be, but it's in the pylon so it makes sense. It's a camera being placed in a, in a very um, logical place. So that right there is cool. We might run into some problems with very up-close shots. Um, I could see that maybe being an issue. Uh, where they cut to the pylon cam because it's a corner of the end zone play and all we see are the players legs or uh, We don't see the, the feet dragging in or whatever it may be. Hopefully. I'm, I'm wrong about that um, Otherwise this pylon cam looks really sweet. I, I like that a lot. So moving on they talk about uh, some of their new slow-mo action replays uh, with user catches, spectacular catches, and things of that nature. Um, and this could go either way too, and this picture doesn't do it justice at all, of course. Uh, we need to kind of see this in motion, we need to see it as a video. Uh, the reason why this could go either way is because in, in games before, I've seen slow motion replays that look really good, but I've also seen slow motion replays that uh, last too long, they don't cut out enough, and so it, it just takes so long to get through this slow-mo action replay. And uh, it, it, you know, it kind of kills it and people just end up skipping it. So if they cut this really tight and uh, it's really exciting and, and gives us a better look, then I, I'm all for it. Uh, if it's it's a, if it's about, you know, the whole play being in slow motion, obviously that's going to be really tedious. So I'm um, eager to see that in motion. Uh, next up we have, uh, they talk about different cuts in between plays, looking at players, close up of faces, uh, different players that were involved in the play and coaches reacting to the plays. Uh, so this is nice because this goes a long way to give us that immersion of what we see on a broadcast uh, uh, on on broadcast TV. So seeing the coaches is the most important thing, though. The emotion of the coaches, you guys, you have like guys like Mike Tomlin who are so passionate about what's going on in the field, they overstep their ba boundaries, maybe. Uh, just having that emotion there is going to go so far into immersing the player. Now, this is all well and good in theory, but, you know, it obviously has to be executed well. If it's not executed well, then we're just back at square one. Uh, but what it's, from what it sounds like, this is a very positive change, so I'm optimistic about that. Uh, next, they're talking about uh, graphics that tether to the players and kind of give you the stats. I'm all for stat overlays. I love seeing more and more stats in these games, uh, stats that accumulate during the season, career stats, uh, records, milestones, all that kind of stuff. I'm all for it. But obviously, this was here last year, the tethered stats. Uh, it looks a little bit better this year, I think, uh, from this graphic. 
And also we see uh, multiple player celebrations. Uh, so that's cool. I want to see more of those, of course. I don't want to see him every single play, but if there's a guy that's really close to uh, the score and uh, he was involved in it, even if he wasn't, just because he's a teammate, the, the multi-man celebrations, the team celebrations uh, are really... It looks like they've been improved, and that's going to go a long way there. All right, so kind of wrapping up this uh, whole blog, we have this picture of uh, Bill O'Brien for the Texans, and um, we, can, we can see a couple things here. Number one, he looks great. Uh, the face looks fantastic. He's holding a Microsoft Surface tablet, which uh, is obviously new, and uh, kind of updates it, makes it look authentic. Um, he's kind of, I don't know if he's like, pushing back a coach or a trainer, uh, but that could be a clue as to some things maybe that are that are new in franchise mode. Um, you know, I can't really tell who that is, but that would be cool if it were a, a coordinator of some sort. And then we have uh, Osweiler here. Now they have said with coordinators, I don't know if they let this slip or not, but they said they don't have the official coordinators in the game. I don't know if that's a confirmation that they actually have coordinators or not. We're going to have to wait and see, but uh, this could be exciting, this little clue here. I don't know. Maybe it's just a, a trainer or, you know, a generic staff guy that they have in here for this scene. I don't know for sure, but um, just think about the possibilities of what that could mean. Uh, it also talks about uh, franchise mode a little bit if you play as a coach, uh, getting those reactions and shots of your coach a lot more frequently so that you have that connection there. And this kind of brings me back to head coach 09. When you would play as a coach, of course, it's head coach, you play as a coach. But I mean, it, it, when you were the coach, I mean, it would show you constantly reacting to whatever situation. And you actually got to choose your reaction to the play, and it would f affect the morale of the players on the field. I don't think it's going to be that involved in Madden 17. Uh, but certainly, just getting the emotions of the coaches, as I said before, is such a huge thing. Uh, now, of course... I've heard from people so far, uh, some of my friends saying, you know, I hope there's an option to skip all this because, you know, presentation, I don't want my game turning into an hour and a half when it should be 45 minutes. And I understand that completely, but for guys like me who want to feel immersed in the game, uh, this is big. Uh, the commentary change could mean a lot of things. The coaching emotion could mean a lot of things. I mean, there's nothing too crazy in this blog. Uh, but most of it is very solid improvements. So I want to know what you guys think. Though I want to know if this is something that's just uh, maybe big talk and it won't be executed as well. Or if this is really going to change how Madden 17 uh, immerses the player in each and every game. And how dynamic this, this might be. So I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out my Madden 16 review. I'll be back with more Madden 17 uh, stuff to talk about once they release the franchise uh, blog. Or maybe another presentation blog if they release another one of those. It sounds like we're probably not getting franchise news until next week, which is kind of sad. But, you know, it all has to come out uh, at a certain pace. So thanks for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.